everybody. Um, Lou is doing like the most perfect down dog right now. If you haven't seen Lou, Louie, come here. Come, come. Sit. This is Lou. See, look. He doesn't usually do it on command like that, but that's oh, and a, oh, and an up dog. Yes, he's showing you his skills. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, hi. <laughs> oh my God, he's something else. Uh, welcome back. We're doing a stretch. Who is with me? Joe. Hi, Joe. Carmen. Hi, Carmen. So, I'm going to do a lot of upper body stretching. We will get full body, but because this morning's um, arm workout was so rough, I'm going to try and make sure that we have a, uh, yeah, really good upper body stretch here. Let me get a few of you on. Hi, Kim. Kim from Texas. Hey. <laughs> um, Amanda. Thanks, honey. So, yeah, so we're going to just do about a 30-minute stretch. A lot of upper body, but we will hit everything, okay? Just so you know. While you're waiting, just kind of out your arms a little bit. Kevin's in the kitchen and he's watching from the kitchen. I just saw him pop on. Cindy, Christina, I'm so happy that you came back with me. I hope you're feeling a little bit more awake than you were this morning. You know, we all have those days. Swing out your arms. We're just getting warm. We all have those days. Believe me, I have them too. There's plenty of days you've seen me come into the gym and you don't even know it, but I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to do this. But a lot of times it does make you feel better. Okay, swing them out, swing them out, swing them out, let them go, I know, they're a little tight from this morning if you did do the workout with me. All right, swing, 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 and circles, just take some circles, all right. I do want you to just warm up the arms a little bit before we get too into stretching them, so warm up, shoulders, get them all the way up, so right now, I usually say get your shoulders away from your ears, but right now get them up as high as you can, and then push them down as far as you can, okay, so roll it out. I just realized, I have this thing called a Theragun. Kevin got it for me for Christmas. It's like, it looks like a drill. <laughs> and go forward. But it's got like a little ball on the end. And I have to show it to you. And uh, you use it to like loosen up your muscles. And we haven't used it in like two weeks. What am I waiting for? All right. <laughs> okay, so now I want you to bring your fingers together. And then as best you can, take them and tap them behind your back. So front and back. Hi, Terry. Where is Wendy? I haven't seen her in a while. Hi, Anne. Oh my God, Anne, I need this stretch like you wouldn't believe. Kara. Me too. Karen. All right. Just get a bunch of you on stretching. I'm just doing this right now, warming you up, warming you up. Okay? All right, now, take your arms, shake them out. Shake them out. Start with your wrists. Give me some rolls. Okay, and like, you'll get into this point where you just like are kind of rolling your wrists. See if you can make it bigger and like stretch out your hands as you go around. So really make that as big as you possibly can. Anybody tuning in right now that doesn't know what we're doing, they're like, what the hell is she doing? Hi, Jen. Good. Other direction. So make it as big as you can. Um, so I'm getting, so that way you can stretch out that forearm too. All right. So make it as big as you can. Good. And then start to make circles. This is going to feel a little weird. Circles with your elbows. Circles with your elbows. Move through the range of motion in your joints. Your, your elbows move in that direction, right? So it's not something you do all the time, but your your elbows can move in that direction. So circle, circle, circle. Okay. Now, start with your feet a little bit wide. I'm going to have you just start going side to side and stretch out your side body. And this is also a press over of your arms. So that should feel good. Don't take it too deep yet. We're going to get deeper into these stretches as we go. But I don't want you to warm, uh, to be stretching really cold muscles. All right. So Kevin's back there. I think he's like making a sandwich or something. You making a sandwich, Kev? Nope. I never know what he's doing in there. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Good. I need this too. Oh, my God. Okay. One more each side. Okay, so your upper body feels hopefully like a little warm from moving. So the first thing I want you to do is now take your feet closer together. And if that makes you fall over, just keep them apart, okay? Reach your left arm up, grab your wrist, all right? And then just start to lean over to that side, all right? Now, if this is enough, you stay here. Maybe you're just right here. That's fine. Over. Think about your hips. Hi, Cassie. Moving this way. Okay, you don't actually have to push them. I'm just giving you that feeling, right? And there goes the kids. There they go. And stretch, hold it. But don't hold your breath. Now something that happens here is this heel lifts off the floor. So try your hardest not to let that heel lift off the floor. 
and I breathe. And sometimes, see I come up like that as I breathe in? Sometimes if you do that, you get a little more length from your spine, and then you might feel you can sink into it a little more comfortably. Hold. Inhale. Exhale. And up. Now you're going to take that same, that left arm, and just put it to the middle of your back if you can. Okay? So now you're stretching your tricep. So just press your elbow down, and you should feel your fingers kind of go down the center of your back. Again, everybody's flexibility is different. Something I see here all the time. See this? We don't want to do that. Do your best. Even if the stretch, even if your hand doesn't go down as far, I want you to keep that back up tall. Okay? Now, from here, lean over again to the right. If that doesn't feel good, just stay up. Okay? Right there. Breathe. Cassie, are you stretching with me? Good. Breathe. So you should feel this in the back of the arm. Down the side of your body. Hold. Good. And you'll take it up. Nice. Now, that left hand is coming behind your back. Okay? If that doesn't happen for you, just take your hand on your hip. Okay? So otherwise, hand behind your back. Take your right hand and grab it. So you have this little wing over here. All right? Push your chest toward me and then drop your head. Oh, God. To the right. So... What do I feel? I feel the stretch of the side of my neck. I feel the opening in my chest here. Breathe through it. If you're like this, hold on. If you're like this, no good. Breathe. Breathe. And smile. Or yell at me. I don't know. Okay, stay right there. Let me see. Hi, Karen. Yeah, good, Cassie. We all need this stretch, right? Good. Okay. Now, inhale, lift it up. Take that arm out, just shake it out a little bit, and then take your left hand, and let me see your palm. Take your hand, and then press. Oh, his fingers. So we can, if, we, if you did my upper body workout this morning, we have a lot of, a lot of weight there, um, and that can really tighten in this forearm here. So you really want to stretch that out. <laughs> Crystal, that's why I'm doing a lot of upper body stretching. I'm like, I really... She said she can't move after this morning's workout. I really need to. Now look, take your thumb and take little circles with it. That's going to feel weird. But you're going to feel the stretch kind of in different spots in your hand. Right? Oh, yeah, good. And then pull that thumb back towards you. Good. Hi, Kathy Steele. Good. Okay. Oh, I got a nice crack there. Roll out the wrist. Shake it out. Shake it out. Just let it go. Like, like let it be heavy for a second. Let it go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so your feet are back together. Your right arm is up this time. You're grabbing your right wrist and leaning over to the left. Again, breathe through it so you might get that. And then over. Oh, good, Cynthia. We all need this, right? I do after this morning. Inhale up. And sigh. Okay, again, if you need your feet to be apart, that's okay. You get a little bit more out of it inside of this arm if you do breathe. And you have your feet together. Hold. Come back up. Take that right hand to the middle of your back. Ooh, press it. And then press it. So again, it's right down the center of your back. All right? And you want to be up tall here. We don't run around forward, so up tall. Okay, now if you want to, if you need that extra little bit, lean over and breathe. Good. So I hope we're feeling good today. Oh my God. Mm, Monday. Nice. And breathe. Oh. And up. Whew. Okay, take that hand it behind your back. So now we're getting that chest stretch, okay? Again, if you can't, just put your hand here, pull your elbow back as best you can. Grab on. Hi, Laurel. Come stretch with me, honey. You have it. Hold it on here. You get that wing, right? Okay. Pull on it. Chest forward toward me. Drop your head. Oh, to the left. Good. I just realized I forgot to plug you guys in. And I don't want to lose you. So hang on. Stay there. Stay there. Breathe. If I don't plug you in, I might lose you. So, oh, good. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. Good. Nice. And up. Good. Take that right 
hand in front. Stretch here. Good. So pull those fingers. Just pull them down. Let this relax. Breathe. Everybody's like, what do you mean breathe? And when you breathe, that breath comes all the way in, all the way down. It's not like stuck here. Let it come all the way down into your belly. And then roll that thumb around. Roll it back a little bit. This should feel good. Hi, Michelle. Yep, pull it open. Seriously, Cindy, I'm missing my masseuse. Yeah, and sometimes one side will be tighter than the other. I find that in my legs especially. Does you favor one side? Good, open up that finger. Good, now take that hand, shake it out. Every time I let that go, I get a big crack. Anybody else? Shake them out. Let it, see how I'm wiggling? Just wiggle it, shake it out. Oh, nobody can see you. You can all see me being stupid here, but nobody can see you. Okay. All right, we got one more standing, okay? So take your arm across, okay? Take it across, hold here. So the other arm now, all right? And you want to be pulling this, it can come up into your neck if you want to, but you don't want to like, you know, choke yourself here. Now, take your palm, this palm here, your left, and then move it back and forth. All right, so you're kind of just stretching out the wrist while you're doing the shoulder. Okay. Now relax your hand and throw it over your back and then push it. I don't throw it, but you know. <laughs> just place it over your back. Stay there. Good. As I'm doing this, I'm like, why are my calves so tight? <laughs> it's like, wow, my whole body. I need that Theragun. I'm going to show you that Theragun before we're done. It was probably the best Christmas gift, <laughs> sorry, I've ever gotten, and I, I, I love my Christmas gifts, believe me, but like body-wise, for me, it was like, oh my God, that, and one of my clients actually gave me a vibrating roller, which just sounds ridiculous, right, um, and that's pretty amazing too, so hold this stretch here, now take that flex, let go of the wrist, flex it and let it go, take care of that wrist. Good. And then place it over your shoulder. See if you can get it into the middle of your back and then push it. Okay? I'd like to show you from every angle. So good. Hold it there. I came to the, to the phone like I saw you. Like I'm like, are you do are you doing that? You do <laughs> right? So hold it and breathe. Ah, oh, you want to enjoy this, right? This, it's hard to stay still. I know for me it's All right, take it down. Let it go again. Shake it out. That should feel good. All right, so take your feet about hip width apart, okay? I want you to bring your hands to your knees. Slide them down. Okay, so you're sticking your butt out. You're not here. You're sticking your butt out. Try not to scrunch in your shoulders. You just relax your hand, your arms a little. And I want you to take an inhale and arch up. And then exhale. Pull your belly button into your spine. Round. And then arch again. Mm, and then round. So the inhale is here. Inhale, chest opens, exhale, round. Inhale, chest open. Exhale, round. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale, round. Now round it all the way up this time. Round it all the way up. Reach your arms up. And then fold all the way forward. Now, where are your feet? They can be about hip width. If you're pretty flexible, you can walk them together. Okay, if that feels better, hang out. All right, breathe. Now, this is also stretching your neck. Just try not to be like here because then you're putting pressure on your neck. So you're letting your head hang and allow it to be heavy. All right, you're, you got a lot in your head there. It's like a 10 to 15 pound ball. <laughs> All right. And you want to let the weight of the head loosen the neck a little bit. Okay. If you, if you can't get your hands to the floor and you're just right here, that's okay. That's all right. Hopefully. Good. And then bend your knees, bend your knees and then straighten them back up as best you can. Bend your knees. Straighten it back up. Good. One more time. Bend the knees. Straighten it 
straighten back up. Hold, but don't hold your breath. Mm. And nice. So let's come down, down, down to the floor. And we're going to do a couple of the back arching roundings again in this position. So hands under your shoulders. Okay, and I want you to inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. So the neighbors are um, like building a house. They're building a house next door. I don't know if you can hear all that beeping, but there's like major construction vehicles going on. So I had to close all the windows. I'm like, oh, I need my birds chirping. Uh, and one more time. And then up. And flatten it out. So let's take your knuckles to the floor instead of your wrists or your hands so that you're not using as much of the hand here. Like you're not bending back on the wrist as much. Bring your left knee in a little bit and bring your right foot back. And just right now, just kind of go forward and back on that um, foot. Stretch and warm up your calf a little bit and then we'll hold a nice stretch. Okay, so warm up that calf. Back and forth. And breathing. Oh, yes, I would kill for a massage. <laughs> yes, I would. No, I would kill for it. Good. And then, good, switch. So even just that movement right there does make me, my calf feel a little bit better. So it's just that back and forth movement of it. Keep your back flat. My whole body is cracking. That means you need it. And also, Crystal, may, need that, may mean that you might need some um, hydration. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are drinking a lot of water. Um, some people are like, I don't like water. If that's your problem, okay, give your water a little flavor. Throw some fruit into it. Throw some lemon. Throw some lime. Um, and if you if you're a sweater like I am, one more, and good. Okay, now curl the toes, hands under, lift your butt, downward facing dog, and in this down dog, start to just walk your dog one at a time. So we're moving through these movements, and then we will hold the down dog for like 30 seconds. Okay. So hold here, spread out your fingers so you don't feel a lot in your hands. Let your head be heavy. Okay, and then press into your heels. Press your chest toward your shins. Um, so if you're a sweater, I was saying, I, I tend to start things and then don't finish them. So if I do that, call me out. But um, <laughs> if you're a big sweater like I am, you, um, what you could do just a little, if it's okay, is like a dash of sea salt in your water, and that is actually can help you uh, hydrate. I know that sounds like totally opposite of what it, uh, <laughs> of what you're supposed to do, but just a dash of sea salt, it doesn't make, you don't want the water to be salty, but it does help to give you some electrolytes and get some of that uh, stuff that you sweat out back to your body. Good. Stretch, stretch, press down through your heels. Don't hold your breath, breathe. Again, chest is toward your shins and your butt, you're imagining you're like press it, it's ridiculous, press it open. Yeah, so like your butt is going up towards where the ceiling and the wall meet behind you. It should be a little bit intense there. Stay there, stay there. And oh, good. Come back down. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. So, take your bottoms of your feet together. Mm. Bottoms of the feet together. This little butterfly feels good. Feels good. I was going to do this outside, but then I realized if I did it outside, I wouldn't be able to see you guys commenting. And I like that because then I can see stuff like, oh, my whole body's cracking. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Now, take your feet, this is going to feel good, and like open them up like a book. And take your thumbs and, and Cindy, give yourself a little massage in those um, arches, okay? A little massage in the arches, open the feet up. And this is another thing that I'm happy that I do this with you guys because I tend to like, I stretch, but I definitely don't stretch as much as I should. And um, you know, I'm just being honest with you. I like to be real with you guys so you know that I'm not like, 
crazy person. <laughs> I mean, I'm crazy, but in a different way than you think. Okay, now inhale, lift up. Grab your shins, but don't lift them off the floor. Lift up, press your chest toward me, and then exhale, round back, pull your belly button towards your spine. So again, we're doing these inhales, rounding your back, and then round, exhale. Good, inhale up. <laughs> Terry, are you okay? Did you meet, did you reach them? Oh, I know, Cindy. So yeah, that's a nice trick too. But Cindy said that she massaged her feet with a tennis ball earlier. That is, that feels great. It does release a lot. Oh, good. One more time. And there, nice. Okay, you okay? You're all right. Take your hands behind you. Bring your feet out. So I'm going to have you press, press your knees down, and you're, you're opening here in that shoulder. So keep your hands down, and then go to the other side. So I want you to take an inhale, and then exhale to the other side. So you're getting a shoulder stretch. That should feel good. You're also getting the hips, the back. Press down the knee if you can. Press it. The more you press down that knee, well, if it's too much, don't, do, don't press it too hard. But if you press down that knee a little bit more, you're going to feel more in that chest and shoulder. Good. Yeah, whose feet are these, Terry? And as I'm doing this, I'm like, oh my, you know what I really miss, Cindy? Is a pedicure. Oh my God. I'm the worst at painting my toes or my, or my nails or my fingernails. And last one. Okay. Okay. And back to the center. I want you to cross this leg over and sit up and hug it. Sit up and hug it. I'll really pull it into your chest. Pull it in the way. Now grab that left leg with your right elbow. So see if your knee and your elbow can meet. If not, just grab it wherever you can. Okay. Inhale up. Reach up. And then turn see if you can and it's from your chest it's not from like leaning forward so it's, it turns over your torso turns now flex your right foot and look over your left shoulder Feel it right there and breathe Stay here. You're almost there. <laughs> Terry, yeah, Terry says, my dog got a pedicure. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Louie got his nails cut last week. Good. Back to the center. All right, take this leg, cross it over here. Okay? Bring your hands back. Ooh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, some of you are going to be right here, and that's totally fine. What you want to try to avoid is sinking here. So I would rather you come in less and have your chest up. So like if you're trying to get in here and, and that rounds you, just don't go out as far, but keep your chest up. You're gonna feel more in this hip, okay? And that's the point. Hey, Jen, if you need more, walk your heel in closer. If you need more, lift your right toe. But your butt is still on the floor. So if you lift and it lifts you up, no, 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 keep the butt down. Hold it, go ahead. Breathing. I know it's slow. I'm with you guys. I got gotcha. you. Stay here. Ooh, okay, now how about this? A little rock wherever you are, side to side. But Terry, I'm very happy you came back. Oh, good, Jen. Jen did my upper body with her 15-year-old daughter this morning. Great. Yeah, it was hard, wasn't it? Oh, God. Good. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Keep going. And Jen, I can't believe you have a 15 year old daughter. <laughs> She's like, yeah, <laughs> me neither. Ah, and, ah, oh, nice. Okay, release that down. Shake out your legs. Okay, shake them out. You ready? Right leg, cross. See, this is my tight side. Who said that earlier, Cindy? Okay, oh, Anne said that earlier. Okay, so give it a hug, give it a hug. Sit up tall. Inhale up. And then bring it around and stretch. 
Mm. Good. Flex your left foot so the back of the foot is on the floor. Or the ankle. I can't talk today. My um, like the Achilles is on the floor. There you go. Flex it as best you can. Look over that shoulder. Breathe. When your whole body's cracking, does it feel good? I hope so. Good. Whew. And carefully bring it back. Cross the leg over. <laughs> How did that happen right? Okay, hands back. Lift. Ooh, yeah, this is my tight side. So again, none of this. Don't be lazy. Lift your chest. And then if you need to walk your foot in closer, good. If you need to lift your toes, good. Hold it. And just breathe. Good. So I was super excited this morning. Um, I have to say, you're like, what? So at the beginning of our workout this morning, I had I was telling everybody, I was like, I was so few um, subscribers away on YouTube from getting my thousand. By the end of the workout, thanks to a lot of you guys, I got the thousand subscribers, which means that I could go on YouTube live as well. So for some of you that helps because I know you are having trouble streaming Facebook to your TV um, and your TVs do have YouTube. So I can set aside. Good. Ooh. Yes. All right. And good. Release that down. Good. And shake them out. Take them out, that should feel good. Now what I want you to do is just give a little, little pound to your quads here. Okay? Get a little blood flow to your quads. Good. Keep it going. Pound them out. Feel good? Feels good. Alright, stay with it for four, for three, two, and one. Good. Alright. Lay it on your belly. We all okay for the belly? I know, I'm so excited, Jen. <laughs> okay, so you're on your belly. I love this stretch, and I'm gonna give you an option if you can't do this, okay? So your left arm is in front of you, and you're gonna bend your right knee. Okay, reach back, and then grab it. Now, if you're like, mm, no, okay? If you cannot grab your foot, you can stand up and try and grab it, okay? Or you can put it on a, so imagine this is a little bit higher. If you put it on like your couch, you could put your foot there and then press your hip forward, okay? And that's gonna give you the same stretch. So lots of options, okay? All right, so you're down here, you're holding on, and then just put your head on your forearm and press your pelvis into the floor. You know this is one of my favorites. Oh, my quads are always so tight. Breathe. Amanda, are you still with me? Am I killing you? Don't answer yet, wait till we're done this stretch. Breathe. Good. Now try and relax that foot. Relax the foot that's up there. So keep pulling your heel towards your butt. Big breath. One more breath. Good. And then we release it. All right. We'll let that go. Other hand in front. Grab your left, your left, good, and bring it down. All right, try to get your heel towards your butt, and try to see my butt like this in the air. You want to push it down to the floor, so press it down. Keep your heel close to your butt. Relax your foot, because we tend to like flex it, so relax it right now. Breathe. Put Stop clenching your jaw. <laughs> I know, because sometimes I'm doing it too. Stop clenching, stop clenching. One more big breath. Good. All right. Let that go. All right, come to your hands and knees. Okay. Right. And we're going to walk your hands a little bit in front of you so that you can come forward as like as if you're gonna do a push up, but you're not, okay? Knees a little bit farther apart, and then start to rock your knees. Ooh, side to side, okay? Now, if you can't touch your feet to the floor, that's okay. Just go as much as you can, okay? 
But if you can touch your feet to the floor, do it, but keep your hands on the floor. All right. Well, are you breathing, Amanda, or are you holding your breath? <laughs> that makes a difference. Good. Now, as I do this, the more I do this, the more I can get my feet down. At first, it was like, oh, it's not going to happen. <clears throat> what more of these? Four, three, two. I'm like, what is all over my pants? And one. <laughs> Good. Come back to a child's pose. And then stretch that out right there. It's like, they're all over me. I'm sorry. Okay. So in this stretch, I want you to start like imagine you're like reaching your fingers, you're walking your fingers, and you're trying to get your arms as long as possible, and then push your butt back as far as you can. So that you're really stretching all the way through um, your low back and side back. So hold there. come up and you're going to put your elbows on the floor. We are right there. All right. Hands together. Bring your head down. Bring your hands. Bring your hands, uh, your thumbs to your back of your neck and press back. So stay there. For those of you who can't get into that tricep stretch that we did earlier, this is a nice alternative. I mean, this is tough. So you really got to open up through those triceps. You have to press your chest down toward the floor. Try not to hold your breath. That's the part. That's the part that might make you shake a little bit. One more big breath. And good. So carefully extend your arms. Good. Come back. Oh, and let's go to your back. Where are we on the time here? Oh, we're almost done. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Polly! <laughs> I don't want you doing more push-ups, Ann. No, I don't. I right, bring those knees to the chest. <laughs> bring those knees to the chest. Give me circles in one direction. Okay, circle, circle. <laughs> I'm sneaky, right? Trying to make you guys do more push-ups? I would not do that on purpose. Oh, that feels good. A couple more in this direction. So you might feel that any tightness that you have in your lower back that you press against the floor feels like you're... Ooh, okay. Make the circles bigger if you need to. Feels like you're giving yourself a little massage. Let's talk about that some more. <laughs> and go to the other direction. Go the other direction. Good. While you're doing this, I'm going to get my theragram. I'm going to show you what it is, okay? I'm not trying... Like, believe me, I don't make any money off of this or anything. I just love this thing, and it is... Definitely worth the investment. So good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And then I'll show you my scary massage. Done. Okay. Keep going. Ah. Oh, okay. All right. A couple more in this direction. Okay. And good. So from here, take your knees so they're directly above your hips. Take your arms out like an air traffic controller so that both shoulders are on the floor. Relax them down and then bring your knees to the right. Now if you're like, well, it's not much, then you can take your right hand and push down on your left leg. You want to keep your left arm on the floor. Stretch. So this does make a difference. Keep it, stay there. This does make a difference. If your knees are in here and you go over, it might be easier. But if they're just a little bit farther out and you're twisting from your lower waist, you're going to get a little bit more in that low back. Breathe. Hi, Peter. Peter's back. Kara. Good. So I'm like, right now, I feel like I'm like holding on. Like I'm like, like that there's something that just isn't, let, I'm not letting myself stretch. So the bigger the breath, and then out through your mouth. Sometimes it lets it go a little bit. Like, you know when you sigh, it kind of helps? Same thing. You ever notice for you guys that have dogs? Go ahead, switch sides. Switch sides. Uh, Whoa, 
Peter. Good. Other side. 3.8 mark. 3.8? Nice. It's a beautiful day out. Did you ever know, did you ever see your dogs do that that, uh, that sigh? And you're just like, oh my god, that's my board. <laughs> Hopefully y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, they do the sigh, they're like, <sighs> all right, they really know how to relax. So think about that, that big sigh, in through your nose, deep, 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 out through your mouth. Good, and then bring it back. Oh, good. You should do this stretch, Peter, that would be good. <laughs> All right, rock yourself up as best you can, okay? And then cross your ankles, uh, cross your ankles. We're gonna get just a little movement in this position, so I want you to just notice kind of how your hips feel, all right? See how it feels, the circle. Try not to rock like on your hips like this. Yeah, you just wanna go from your upper body. You can feel how that feels. You should, Peter. Right, you know, do this part with me, get on the floor. <laughs> Especially this part for those hips. Okay, other direction. Good. We're almost I'm having music today. Sorry. I might be able to put some in after. Amanda, I'm able, I'm able to do that, right? And I'm moving, I can put it in after. Good, Crystal. <laughs> Wowza, I like that. <laughs> All right, you ready? Here, reach. Reach to me like you're trying to grab my hands. Push your butt like you're trying to push it out behind you. Inhale. And then go ahead over. Breathe. Peter, you need this. Do this right now. You still with me or did she leave? She left me. And she left. And you want to breathe now. You might be right here. You might be right here. So you need to remember. I, all right, good. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'm going to figure it out later. Good. And slowly walk your hands up. You're going to switch your cross. Now, this is where I have trouble because my cross does not does not go well on one side. Reach up, reach to me, grab my hands, grab them, grab them, reach, 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 and then hands down and fold it over. Definitely doing more stretching with you guys than I typically do. So that feels very good. Good. And then come up. I'm going to do one more chest stretch here. Okay, take those hands behind the back, and you're going to grasp them like this behind your back. Take it behind your back, press your knuckles down. Okay, open right there. So to hold that, I'm going to show you this. So I got this for Christmas, okay? I, again, I'm not trying to sell this, I, but I love it, okay? And watch. Oh, my God. Right? And then you put it on your muscles. Oh, my God. <laughs> you get somebody to put that on your back. It's got three different settings. Look. Crazy. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna use that later because I need it. Good. Open the chest. Open the chest. And hold it. Good. All right, guys. Let's shake out your arms. Shake out your arms. I hope that helped you feel a little bit better today. We did a little bit of everything. Nothing too too crazy. No yoga. Not too much on the wrist. And I almost squeeze push-ups in for you, guys. If you like this, please leave me a comment on the bottom. If you're doing this on YouTube later button. Thank you so much, guys. I enjoy working with you every day. I'm so grateful. Thanks, guys. Bye. Laurel, you should get it.